What's, What's up, guys? guys? Welcome back to Taste Cup of Joe. Yes, sir. And we're here to continue our journey to the most amazing, the sequel to the most amazing show. <laughs> Go ahead. House of the Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for you to say something. No, I was letting you do your thing. What do you mean? A word? Yeah. Damon finally takes care of the crab feed or whatever his name was. Wait, they were so, like, whatever, by crab feeders. Mm-hmm. Oops, I'm so sorry. <laughs> So unimportant. <laughs> <laughs> ah, but anyway, you guys, we are going to get into this next episode. Episode 4, King of the Narrow Sea. If you have not, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. How are you guys feeling the series right now? Facts. Yes. And remember, full uncut reactions available mm-hmm. on our Patreon as well as early access up to three weeks, guys. But remember, you don't have to get three weeks. You can get two weeks or one week. Depending on your preference, so check it out. The link's always down below in the description. Mm. But for now, let's get into episode four. Yeah. King of the Narrow Sea. Did you like that? It was when I was, was a young one. Yeah, yeah. I was like, that's Lion King, right? <laughs> Let me learn that's this name favorite. real quick. Patty Considine. Patty Considine. Let him know. I know that's right. These men don't got no. You think I'm about to let you bag this? You think I'm gonna like? You're my type. You're crazy, honey. I'm you're a you're five. The blood of the first man still flows in their veins. Okay, and he's five. Quarter the world the first man. The rotation shall be easy and like safe under my protection. <laughs> protection. The princess has a dragon, you dumb cunt. Oh, you're mean. Shut up. You're definitely not getting a chance with me. Craven. Ooh. The young boy did it. Yup. I know that's right. Oh, snap. So keep trying. Keep trying me, bro. Yeah, if you try me, I'm going to show you. I ain't going to talk. I'm going to just let you know. Uncles. He don't give a freak. Oh, hairdo. Or was that the crown? Add it to the chair. Ooh. I want them to get be friendly again. If once we smash the tribe king, they name me the king of the narrow sea. Damn. That's crazy. But I know that there is only one true king, your grace. He's like, this is it's different. Like, What's going on? Things are yours. Oh. Squash the beef, come on. Right. Hug me. Yes, brothers united. It's better this way. I feel like it's still such like a looming thing. Like, is this real? Like, is this a joke? Like, is this for show? Do you have, are you being sneaky? Perhaps Prince Damon's care for towards the gallery. He hasn't yet seen the new tapestry gifted to you by Mobile Sinclair Would you like to see the tapestry? But nobody care about that. Oh, well, then you should not deprive yourself. He's mad at her for canceling the tour. So she got the baby. Time is flying. Jeez, Louise. How romantic it must be to get imprisoned in a castle and then to squeeze out to air. Mm. Damn. Damn. Right. Technically, that's what she's doing. Yeah. 
I like them. You've matured yourself these last four years, princess. Damn, four that's years. crazy. You'll get used to the attention. Uh. <laughs> shit, that was true. I wouldn't have my wife at all. <laughs> I'm cracking up. I don't wish to cause you further distress, your grace. I like the way the old men on the council talk. If House Valarian entered into an alliance with the free cities, then we would have to seek our own marriage pact. Damn. Right? Everybody looking at it right now are like, choose, bro. Good night. Welcome, that could be her man. Mm -hmm. And where did she randomly get that scroll from? Is this her bedroom? All of a sudden that just popped up. Uncle said, meet me here. Meet me in the crypts. The fact that they go there from her bedroom. That is all connected, right? Yeah. She kind of looks like Zach and Cody right there. <laughs> <laughs> she really does, yo. Oh my god, that's hilarious. I love that they were able to just like get past the dragon egg situation and. Or he was, if anything, because I might have been a little salty still. City's lively. Right? The city is lit. And she be getting lit. She be lit. The dad be like, here, have some wine. Oh, are you crazy? Wow. A time was had. Named his daughter. A girl. His heir. Wow. Timing. But would she make a powerful queen? Or mm. would she be feeble? Even the women think this way, it's crazy. They're of great consequence if you expect to rule them one day. I mean, like, I don't even want to rule them anymore. That feels a little scary, though, sis. Where are you going? She just wants to be free, period. Oh. Now, remember, she was eating a thing, but she forgot she had to pay. She had no money, she threw it out of the ramp. This is the first, her first time I want to bottle. It's like people. Princess Jasmine when she first went out and had to like hide when she was going with Aladdin. Mm -hmm. The king has requested your presence. Are they sleeping in separate rooms? The hour is quite late. Yes, Grace. Ugh. Right. She's not even faking it. She's like lifeless. She's like, like ugh, this she is had trash. to call me this late. Kind of have to feel bad for her. Heck yeah. And it's with him. Like, he's a king, but he's just like an older guy. Like, yeah. Even after Rhaenyra made those comments, like, I'm yeah. trying to make, like, could be in the castle and just pop out hairs. Like, I don't want that life for me. I feel her. I'm waiting for them to, like, recognize them. They got their whole hairs out there that people know who they are this is odd to go with your niece we ain't trying to what's going on <laughs> oh my gosh Oh! 
Oh my god. I love how they show the back and forth between her and, Al- and Allison. And it's crazy because it makes sense. Like, this to me makes the most sense. And it's weird because they're... It's so weird. Yeah. Oh, her daddy ain't gonna be having, but I like the twist. This is how we're going down for the first time, huh, girl? It's just awesome. He brought her here, turned her on, got her looking at all this stuff in the streets, and boom. Got her feeling like, yo, this could be pleasures, you know? Yeah. They don't have to be like Allison, you know what I'm saying? I think that's why they're showing us both. Yeah, 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 no, yeah. What's happening? What's he doing now? Does he feel weird? Like, what's going on? Oh, snap. Damon? Is this a setup? Hold on. Hold the freak on. Oh, no, she's back. He said, how the hell? I was on it the whole time. What the hell? Where, where, where you coming from? I thought that little boy after went and followed her. I thought something was about to go down. She's like, hold up. I'm about to get it on with this dude now. He done left me hanging. <laughs> Well, she done went, she, whoa, she got spicy. She's like, nah, I had a taste, honey, I need this. Damon done turned her out. Turned her out, turned her on, left her high and dry, whoop. She's like, nah, we ain't going out like that. And as a knight, how you gonna refuse the princess, bro? He don't want to anyways. He's thinking like, damn, I wanna do this, but I shouldn't do this, but I wanna do this, but damn. <laughs> right. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We're cool. Don't look so glum, guy. It's all good. It's, this is uh, dishonorable. He's I not know. supposed to yeah. take on any women. I mean, that whole concept is out of control. Like, so because I'm the knight and I'm serving this, I can't take women? Love comes in the way of duty. I guess. <laughs> Whatever makes the aim is it? Yeah. That almost made me feel like somebody walked in on them. Like, oh shit! <laughs> that little kid. Guy. Right? Of all freaking oh my people. Gosh. But even he's stressed about it. Mm-hmm. What is it? Uh, the sea steak. No. Your brother. <laughs> I know, right? I'm afraid it concerns the princess, my king. You gotta talk! It is no easy thing to tell a father of his daughter's exploits. Being back last year. <sighs> you something not term out this world. The princess was she was carrying on with her uncle. You like right. behaviors. Bro, come on, you want me to be saved? Right? In the bowels of the pleasure den. Doing? Cuddling. This is a lie. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I would say too. I only wish at this rumor manga fought before me at once. The rumor manga. Their eyes. See some cunning man. Oh, he's not having it. No. Nah. Not about my daughter. Leave me. What? That's crazy because I told was you I didn't even want to come it's tell you this, right? bro. Like, trust me, it's tough. He don't want to believe it. Because it seems like I have an angle in this, which I low key do, but still, I didn't even want to do it this way. Uh, and just getting juicy. That's what I've been waiting for the tea. Princess, I have a message from the queen. Your daddy knows. Meet me outside. Meet me outside. <laughs> <laughs> to my ex best friend, meet me outside. <laughs> right. Meet me outside. Meet me outside. <laughs> Took me to the city for some fun, too. Oh, 
tell me the whole of it, Rhaenyra. I don't need to tell you nothing. I could read it all over you, sis. You're caught. Why are you? Why are we? What? To question my virtue is an act of treason. Oh. So you are accusing me of slanders. You are the hurt. Look at her playing this role. I only want to help you, Rhaenyra. Damn, that got out quick, sis. Why didn't you guys keep your hoods on? You know what's up, girl. You know that. I swear this to you, upon the memory of my mother. Oh, Damn. oh so that. she's about to be a liar, little hoochie. Go ahead. It's crazy how they make her swear in front of the weirwood tree, too. Yeah. Damn. I forgot about that part of it. All right. I regret it. Bro, your whole succession depends on it, low key. The whole thing is messy, though, because at the end of the day, he brought her out. So regardless of what they did, he brought her out on some weird stuff. Damn, it sucks they found out so quick because I was curious where that was going to go. And why is he so mad about them? I mean, I get it. It's his brother and his daughter, but like, My it's such a Targaryen yeah. thing. Yeah, but she's to be married to somebody with strength. Yeah, true. You know, like, yeah. she's supposed to be the next what ruler of the Iron Kingdom. I mean, the Iron Throne. You defiled her. Oh, he Loki did it as a setup, huh? Did it to defile her so she couldn't be married off? Who knows? She's just a girl. Damn. Your niece. There is a woman crying. I got first experience being with me in some hole. <laughs> you have ruined her. When I offered up my crown, you said I could have anything. Wow. I want her near her. I take her didn't stop that on the conqueror from taking a second wife. You are now conqueror. Oh my gosh! He's smart. That was a smart play, though. That's to be a sick thought for the dad. He can't even say no. He married his cousin. Nah. He, he knows what's up. It's just like, it's the difference is it's your brother and your daughter. It's like... She swore to me that she remained a maiden. She lied. And I believe her. At least it's not like she's in love with him, as far as we know. Wait, is that the dagger that they try to kill Bran with? Mm, I don't know, maybe. Come the prince that was promised. Mmm. The prince that was promised. We hear that a lot. The son of a sea snake. So I can be a remedy for your political headaches. You are my political headache. <laughs> I like their relationship though. Yeah. What we do about the vulture who perches upon your throne. What vulture? Your hands. Ooh. Damn. Of the conqueror's vision and the need for strength and unity across the realm. But how can that be accomplished with your most trusted advisor so self interested? Mm. Oh. You are the man that taught me how to be king. Or you want to make a great. Where is this going? Just five days. <laughs> I have a feeling, but it's just like, okay. Another man. How long did it take you to choose yourself over your king? You're crazy. <laughs> You're crazy. I will have recovered from Alicent. She took me through the worst of my grief. You put her there. She was a calculated distraction. Mm. Mm. You just figured that one out, I huh? I now realize you were a faithful servant, Dr. Mm. Give me that shit. Damn. Like the robber trust your judgment. Period. Shout out to her for bringing that to your attention, though, because that's facts. Yeah, and he listened. I'm shocked. And it's funny because he actually was doing his job and telling him. You know what I'm saying? So, like, he got got for something that he was doing right and not for the things he was doing wrong. Yeah. But at the same time, everybody's working in their best interest. I guess it's unfortunate that he's the hand. And you know, the best interest should be the king. Sticky. If not ruled properly, it can either prove ineffective or else bear unpleasant. Prove properly. I'm sorry, what is that? Right. 
but it will rid you of any unwanted consequences. Possibility. This is Game of Thrones level Plan B, <laughs> right? That's crazy. It's like yo. I mean, you gotta think like that. I don't believe you. Not like that, but you know. Yeah. Yeah. We ain't gonna make sure of it. If you're lying, we're gonna make sure. Right. You are gonna drink this tea? Yeah. Cause you ain't about to wed. I mean, wed bear the child of Damon Targaryen. Mm-hmm. God forbid. And then what? She done did it with the next dude. Oh, man, it becomes a situation like that. Oh, my gosh, that'd be crazy. <laughs> now it's getting spicy, right? It's getting spicy, because I don't see her wanting to drink it. But who knows? Ooh, right, spicy. But I like this. I like this turn. I was not expecting this. I was not thinking about this. I like that it shows, you know, real Targaryen vibes, because they've been saying Targaryens do this. We got to see this part of it. This isn't what I was expecting from it, but... I'm happy to see it. Mm-hmm. It's spicy. Yeah. And it makes us, like, you know, understand more how they move. So, good stuff. I feel like, um, for my people out there, this, I just noticed that, you know, in this series, they do quite a bit of foreshadowing. Um, and it's similar, very similar to what we've seen in Game of Thrones early on. Um, I was, it's easier to pick up. Uh, in Game of Thrones because, you know, I was familiar with right. what happened down the line and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. But now that I'm seeing things, I'm like, wow, like, there's a lot of things. I feel like even um, with Rhaenyra lying in front of the weirwood tree, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like, yeah, I, feel like that, I didn't think about that at all. Yeah, I feel like, I feel like the that was... The gods would. Yeah, the god, right? The, she's lying in front of the gods. You know what I'm saying? Like, like although she... um, Because one thing I don't really understand is though. She started having sex with Damon, right? Mm-hmm. It just he couldn't finish because it seemed like they showed us before, like he has like I don't know if he has erectile dysfunction, but mm, he has a I problem didn't think about finishing. That. But she he did, con- like he did start, right? Yeah, and anything could happen. Yeah, but I and it's just I been continue with Kristen Cole. Yes, she okay. was like I ain't gonna be left hanging, but um I. I, the first way I interpreted it, I didn't even think about that, him leaving for that reason. I thought he just, like, was like, I, this is my niece. I can't do this. I'm out. That's what I initially thought. But yeah. your reason makes sense, too. Yeah. I think that's... But I, I like it! it. Yeah. Ah! And there was some other foreshadowing there. Uh, yeah, yeah, know what's up. Yeah, know what's up. But I, I think, at least I think it, th- I thought it for me. You know, we could talk about it in the comments and shit. You feel me? Yeah, cause I don't know nothing. Yeah. I'm just like, um, you know, I, it's kind of cool how the dad handled it. Granted, he knows what's up with their blood and how it goes down, but it's just like so interesting to see. Like, I thought he would have spazzed a little more. He's just like, this is this and whatever he showed. This is what's in the steel and you need to do that. Like, you know, he's just like, you know what? I'm going to let it be because this is what how it be sometimes. He has this tea. <laughs> mm-hmm. And it just sucks for the king that he confided in his daughter when she I was know. lying to like, you know, she was lying. I mean, she's, a, was she's sm- young though. She's a, she's going to lie. She's a she's a, she's his daughter. We all lied yeah. to our parents, like realistically. What do what am I supposed to do? No, father, that's exactly what happened. Yet, yeah. no, lie it down. It's just common sense. But I guess it's tricky because of the fact that you know it's a king in a kingdom situation. Exactly, that's the problem. But it's like she's still a daughter and father daughter combination. Yeah, it's like that line is hard. It can't always be, you know. Mm-hmm. Oh, I can't wait though. It's getting juicy. Much I can't. I can't wait. Yeah. This is not the direction I thought it was going. I thought it was just gonna be like battles against maybe uncle and her, like with mm-hmm. the throne vibe. But this, this is a twist. Loving it. Yep. Read these comments. Let's read the comments. Okay, so my comment is Mia Reina from Patreon. Hi, hey, girl. Um, this was a. This was actually a really good comment. I think Daenerys showed her love of power very early on, especially that scene when Khal Drogo promises to take Westeros back for her. 
killing women and taking children as slaves along the way. She was definitely excited by the idea of her ruling regardless of how she got there. She did liberate the Unsullied and Slaver's Bay, but it wasn't 100% for selfless reasons. She enjoyed the adoration and followers that got her. The creator just didn't show this duality enough during the series, and they didn't let Amelia Clark, aka Daenerys, mm -hmm. know where Daenerys was ultimately going. Had she known, she would have better played the role and subtly gave us more moments where we could see she was make, walking a thin line between right and wrong. With better writing, she had the potential to be one of the most complex, ca complex characters in TV history. Instead, we viewers saw mostly girl power who we were meant to root for. So when we did see this episode, we experienced total whiplash from her character and felt cheated. And let me tell you something. That was a word. I feel like you can say your piece too. Mm -hmm. But I can see 100% where that was coming from. I feel like, you know, we say it after like, oh yeah, like, you know, it makes sense because, you know, Daenerys showed a lot of liking to exert her power or, you know, this, that. But you always felt like, for me anyway, I always felt like she's going to do right. She's going to be the one that changes it, you know? And then it was like that moment of like, I mean, we saw a couple of episodes before that she had that like kind of greed, like even when it came to John possibly taking the throne. But I felt like we didn't expect her to burn those people. Yeah. You know, I think uh, seasons one through six, they did a good job uh, doing Daenerys, like you say. Right. I think season seven and eight. Uh, things started to rush a little too quickly, especially with her love with John. Yeah. And which made things, um, it didn't look as good when she finally turned on everybody, right? Yeah. It didn't, it didn't, it didn't feel as good, you know? Yeah. Uh, especially with the White Walker situation being rushed too, like, um, I don't know, it just felt like too much was happening in too little time. Yeah. Um, so I agree with better writing, it could have been one of the best. Character. Like character, yeah, situations. TV, yeah, I just thought that was such an. Oh, mm -hmm. I thought, I'm sorry, you guys was here too. I thought that was just such an interesting, like, you know, look. Yeah. So shout Take out to my it. boy Omar Cornelio ah. on Patreon. He says people are mad because they wanted a happy ending, but if this show has proved anything. It's that there's no such thing as a happy ending. That's a fact. Real fans would have known and realized that since they killed Ned off, Danny was always going to be a dragon queen. So many times we were reminded yeah. of that in the series. Just like Lady Olena said, you're a dragon, be a dragon. Mm -hmm. Just like Viserys said, you don't want to wake the dragon. Just like Masande said, Dracarys. Just like Danny said, herself said so many times in season one, she would take back what's hers with fire and blood. Danny was True. violated, defiled, exiled, betrayed. Dan, um, she took so many L's. She was lied to, taken advantage of. Fast. She lost all the people she loved. She lost two dragons. She has no one. She has no one. No love. She's all alone. What did people really think was going to happen? Honestly, it makes sense. I'm not mad at it. It could have been written better. He said, yeah, it could have been written better and it could have been a masterpiece, but George R. R. Martin left the clues in the story. And that's why I say, yes, you're right. Seasons 1 through 6, they showed that something like this along the lines could have happened, but with her losing, I think season seven and eight just felt too rushed for that change in character to yeah. to be so to sudden. Really, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. So I agree. I agree with all you just said, Omar Cornelio. The, the 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 plot points were there for her to become this way. Yes. The agreed. ending on how she got there was it was just, like the whoa factor. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Well, all right. Thank you guys for those comments. Make sure you keep leaving them down below because I want to read some off because. You know what? You make me think about things I don't even think about myself sometimes. I'm like, mm -hmm. oh, damn, point. Oh, shoot, that's facts. You know? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Ah, right, y'all. Peace!